We have a lot of NHL roster updates to make for you, including some pretty significant NHL injuries, some call-ups, some news on the waiver wire. We'll discuss all that coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams, so if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top, we have a lot of news to update here. A lot of this is smaller roster information, including some injuries, waiver wire news, um, some call-ups, etc. A lot of teams have been having some to juggle their lineups here based on some injuries lately. So let's dive in and get started. And today we're going to get started with the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, unfortunately, Corey Crawford has been injured again, and he does have another concussion. Now, of course... You can't help but worry about this guy. He just returned uh, not that long ago from a concussion that kept him out of action for a big chunk of last year, carried through the summer and into the first part of this season before he was able to return. Um, so this is obviously a big blow for the Chicago Blackhawks who were not already having a great season and without having their main goaltender, who I said you know a lot last year was a big part of the reason why things didn't go well then. It's certainly not going to make things any, any better here. You know, he's a big part of that team. And not, not only do you feel for the team, but you feel for him personally. And you can't help but uh, be concerned over his long-term health here. You know, having a series of concussions, especially a severe one like he just went through, uh, obviously is very risky uh, and something that he's going to have to be very careful with here moving forward. You know, he's still a relatively young man with a young family. So certainly concerned for his well-being. If you didn't see the play, what had happened, uh, there was a play where his own player, Dylan Strom, ended up crashing into him into the crease. Um, and it was kind of a, it was a fairly bad hit, you know, so certainly nothing intentional happened. It's just an awkward play gone wrong. Um, but Strom crashed into him and, uh, he ended up, uh, concussed, which kind of reminds me of a few years back when we saw the big collision in Ottawa with Robin Leonard and Clark MacArthur, but it was more so like MacArthur got the worst of that, but he's also the one who had a concussion injury kind of remind me of a similar type of play. Um, so I feel bad for Crawford. I feel bad for the Hawks. We'll see what happens, but of course, with a concussion, especially one with a history, um, who was a severe history at that, you know, there's no timetable for his return. It's just an indefinitely on IR, and I guess we'll wait and see what happens, and we all hope that Corey Crawford will be able to resume playing hockey, or at the very least, not have too many long-term implications from this. Uh, like I said, he's still a young man with a young family. There's sometimes more to think about than just hockey, but I'm sure the Blackhawks would love to have him back in their crease when he's ready and able to go. Now, speaking of goaltenders who have had a difficult time staying healthy, let's jump over now to the New Jersey Devils and talk about Corey Schneider, who's out yet again. I mean, Corey Schneider's had an absolutely terrible last 12 to 15 months between injuries and not playing well and not able to get a win under his belt in such a long time. It's absolutely crazy, but Corey Schneider is yet again on IR, this time with an abdominal strain. Uh, it wasn't quite clear exactly how long they expected him to be out, but I mean, this guy has not been able to stay healthy. He can't catch a break. I said he hasn't been able to get a win in so long. You know, at one point he was such a solid goaltender, um, but it looks like, you know, his body's taken a beating. He's had some significant injuries. And it looks as though he's just not the same Corey Schneider that he used to be. So you really can't help but wonder, um, you know, how much impact this is going to have on, you know, how much time he's going to have left in his career here. Because obviously Corey Schneider is just not quite the same goaltender. This is bad news, obviously, for the Devils. Thankfully, Keith Kincaid has emerged here in the past year or so to be able to take over the workload while he's been out. Um, but still, not good news at all for the Devils. Uh, so Schneider, again, out on IR for a period of time here. This time in Corey Schneider's absence, they have called up youngster Mackenzie Blackwood as well for the American Hockey League to be uh, the backup to Kincaid. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Blackwood, I know, had a pretty solid junior career, played for Team Canada, has played pretty well in the American Hockey League. So we'll see what he can do. He should be able to get some starts, I would think, uh, in the interim. Kincaid likely gets the bulk of the workload, but I'm sure they will be able to put him in for at least a game every once in a while and see how he can do. Now, staying with goaltenders, let's jump back to the Philadelphia Flyers. Now, there's been a lot going on in Philadelphia. If you caught my prior video today, obviously, we talked about the coaching uh, scenario that's been unfolding there and what's been going on with the Flyers. Lots of speculation, lots of talk. Obviously, another big question mark in Philadelphia is who's going to play goal and can anybody stop a puck and actually get some solid uh, performances going here in the Flyers net? They've called up youngster Carter Hart. Now, Carter Hart, as most of you are likely aware, is the looked upon as the goalie of the future for the Philadelphia Flyers. Had one of the greatest junior careers as a goaltender uh, that we've seen in a long, long time. Uh, played in the WHL for Everett. Uh, represented Canada on the international stage multiple occasions as well. And has always been extremely solid. Uh, things kind of get off to a shaky start, we'll say, for his first pro season. But he has turned things around in the last, I think it's 
spent about six to seven, eight games or so. He's been on a pretty good roll here and actually playing pretty well and getting some excellent results in the American Hockey League. So he's now been called up. Uh, so it looks as though for right now, the Flyers are going with a combination of Hart and Neuwirth. But it looks as though Hart's likely going to get a chance to start with Neuwirth being the backup. Um, Anthony Stolarz is now on injury reserve along with Brian Elliott. It's not really clear how long Elliott's going to be out. Um, Stolarz just got injured as well. Uh, and then they've sent Alex Lyon back down to the minors. So he had been brought up on an emergency loan, but has been returned to the American Hockey League. So we'll see what Carter Hart can do. Obviously, the Flyers' defense has not been playing well. Uh, the goaltending situation has been shaky to begin with. But when the team in front of you's uh, defense isn't playing well, you know, certainly not going to, um, you know, give a good opportunity. The goalies are going to be placing too many shots, too many grade A opportunities, etc. So we'll see what Carter Hart can do here. It's a little bit surprising they've called up Carter Hart this early in his career, but at the same time, it's kind of out of necessity with the uh, rash number of injuries they've got here. I mean, what other option could they have? It was either down to Carter Hart or they call upon Gritty or something to jump into the net, uh, which would certainly be a hoot to watch, but I don't think it'd be very productive for the Flyers. So hard to say what's going to happen here, but it'd be interesting to see how Carter Hart can do at the NHL level and if he can develop into the goalie they're expecting. And hopefully this early call up uh, with a fragile team in front of him here does not hurt his development here moving forward. Jumping over and taking a quick look here at the Ottawa Senators. They've got a lot of players going in and out between on IR, off IR, going up and down to the minors, etc. The Ottawa Senators have returned defenseman Stefan Elliott and Eric Bergdorfer back to the American Hockey league mark borieski is now ready to return looks as though other defensemen dylan Demello will likely return later in the week when they play probably on friday um, but for the senators game against the predators borieski is expected to suit up uh, so that'll be a welcome return to get a little bit more experience in that back end yesterday the senators had also placed forward max mccormick on waivers and he did end up clearing so it is expected that he will also be returned to the american hockey league uh, they brought up Nick Paul from the American Hockey League not too long ago, and he's been playing a lot in McCormick's absence, where McCormick's been a healthy scratch. And Nick Paul's really, I think, the better forward of the two. Um, certainly has a little bit more of an opportunity to potentially be a regular than McCormick. I mean, I've been saying for a couple of years, I haven't been a fan of Max McCormick. I don't think he's really cut out for the NHL. And also, Senators forward Matt Duchesne is expected to return sooner than expected. There was some hope that he may be able to go uh, for the game this evening against the Predators, but that's likely not going to happen. Uh, he did take part in practice with the regular contact jersey, which was welcome news, but then he didn't take line rushes. So it's not looking like he's quite ready to go just yet. They may hold him out one more game, and then he'll likely be ready to return uh, later this week on their next game. But also for the Senators, something else that's a question mark. Uh, this morning, Ryan Dezingle was hurt at practice. Uh, they're doing some kind of a drill, and, and Zach Smith shoved him into the boards, uh, battling for the puck or something like that. I didn't see a clip of it, so don't know. Just seen the report. Uh, and he hurt his left arm, and now he's, you know, question mark for tonight's game as well. So Dezingle may end up out of the lineup for the Senators as well. Couple quick updates here on the other injuries, real fast. Here, the New York Rangers have uh, finally placed Kevin Shattenkirk on IR. Like I said he's about out for about four to six weeks, uh, and they have activated Adam McQuaid. So Shattenkirk is now out for a period of time, and McQuaid's back. So Shattenkirk's another guy since he's gone to New York, has had a hard time staying healthy, and have had some you know some significant injuries. So he's another player who, unfortunately, even though he's not overly old, his body appears to be breaking down and having a hard time. But we'll see how quickly Shattenkirk can get back. But it looks like he's going to be at least a month, if not closer to six weeks. Uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning also have placed youngster Matthew Joseph on IR as well. He had been having a tremendous uh, play as of late. Joseph has been one of the more fun rookies to watch in the NHL this year. He's got tremendous speed and he really picked up his scoring as of late. Uh, so it's unfortunate for him that he's now hurt, but he'll be on IR for a little while. And they are also activating defenseman Anton Strahlman, who's expected to return to the lineup as well. Couple other quick notes here in the Calgary Flames here before we wrap this up. They have recalled Kirby Reichel, so he'll get another shot to see if he can make an impact here at the NHL level. Obviously, he's been drafted for some time, has bounced around to a few organizations, so we'll see what kind of opportunity he can get. They have reassigned uh, forward Andrew Mangiapane as well to make room for Kirby Reichel's recall. And they're also getting back Michael Backlund, who's been activated from IR as well, so he should be returning to the Flames for their next game as well. So as always, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. We can continue the conversation. Of course, the main points I want to hear you talk on today would be Corey Crawford's injury. It's another concussion. You can't help but feel for the guys. Hopefully his career will be okay and his long-term health as well. And of course, what do you think about Carter Hart getting a chance in Philadelphia? He's been pegged the goalie of the future, but is he ready today? Leave me your comments down below and we'll continue the conversation. If you're new to the channel here, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams and there's plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up before you go. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We will catch you next time.